All of your favorite outfits, whether you see them as you're walking down the street in New York City or whether you see them as you're scrolling on Instagram, create some level of tension within their makeup. When I use the word tension to reference how to create impressionable outfits, I'm talking more specifically about what I'm calling the art of juxtaposition. To juxtapose is to create a contrasting effect by placing two things within close proximity to one another. In photography, juxtaposition looks like contrasting elements such as positive and negative emotions, direction, race, color, and so much more. For today's video, I'm going to give you my best attempt to help you improve your style by teaching you the art of juxtaposition. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew. What to do? It's nice to meet you. What is juxtaposition in fashion? I gave you some examples of what it means to juxtapose in the art form that is photography, but what does it mean to do that with the clothes that you wear? Juxtaposition in fashion from a foundational standpoint is identical to the ideas that we hold when we think about juxtaposition as a whole. In layman's terms, it's about pulling together two or three or 10 items that typically aren't associated with each other. But in the case of fashion, it needs to be done in such a way that it still feels cohesive to the outfit as a whole. One of the most challenging things about creating juxtaposition within an outfit is doing so in such a way that still looks intentional and put together. Let's dive into two examples so I can show you exactly what I mean. The first examples are these outfits by CJ and Mina, two wonderfully stylish people that I follow on Instagram. Mina's outfit features this incredibly bold furry over code a delicate rounded flat collared shirt which i i love these kind of shirts a three-quarter button-up leather skirt and big black boots let's break down where i see juxtaposition here starting with varying forms of texture the coat is this very attention grabbing and texture rich item and her decision to pair that with a more subdued rounded flat colored shirt to me is mixing the boisterous with the more calm and girly the bottom half of the outfit has that same at odds feeling the leather skirt is texture rich but paired with the boots which seem to have metal toe tips it creates this awesome range in texture identity and form next let's take a look at cj's outfit CJ is an awesomely confident dresser, and you can see that from this outfit. Where I see the juxtaposition mainly is in two particular elements, the color and the pants. This outfit is mostly made up of earthy, more subdued colors. CJ's decision to include this pink side bag and the pink belt was genius in my opinion. Your eyes gravitate towards that and then you see the pants. The pants are a great example, especially for menswear styling, that sometimes the strongest way to create tension is to have really unique unique or personalized pieces in your wardrobe. Now let's look at some examples of still good outfits, but outfits that I don't think create that much tension when you look at them. The first outfit I found is from stylegirlfriend.com of a very well-dressed dude, but I would say that his outfit doesn't have that much tension in it. I love the way everything fits and to me this is super clean. It feels safe and it also looks good but it's not creating any contrasting elements or implementing any contrasting elements. Same for this second outfit. I actually love how clean this looks but remember there's a difference between creating good day-to-day -day outfits and creating a great outfit that utilizes tension. Every outfit you make is not about creating this tension. It's not about creating this juxtaposition, unless you want it to be, of course. Creating tension and juxtaposing elements within an outfit is all about trying and striving to elevate your personal style to a different echelon. To sort of summarize, there are tons of ways to create tension or to juxtapose within an outfit, but here are a few specific examples that I think are the best or, or what's important right now in the zeitgeist for creating that tension. These are the elements when it comes to creating tension that stand out the most to me and what I'm seeing. Using color, texture, size and shape of pieces, accessories, hairstyling, elaborate or interesting footwear, and my personal favorite, understanding how to layer. If you want a more extensive video about understanding how to layer, let me know down in the comments. The items of clothing that create a lot of tension within the fashion landscape right now for both menswear and womenswear include skirts of varying length, texture, color, and shape, non-sneaker footwear, so that includes boots, big or small, like mine is example, derbies, 
oxfords heels loafers a really fun and playful one that i absolutely love and i utilize myself all the time is sportswear mixed with semi-formal attire so that includes things like track pants and heels, track jackets and pleated pants, varsity jackets and ties. These sort of elements are really tense because we're using the word tension here. They're really tense. They're, they juxtapose two elements of society and of culture that typically aren't associated with one another. And finally, I think eyewear and interesting eyewear is a great way to create tension or to juxtapose within an outfit. That includes what brands like Gentle Monster does to more chic and more preppy eyewear, to even bold and just crazy outrageous eyewear. For me, I'm not the type of creator to say you need to buy these glasses and have this specific brand from this specific part of the world to create tension. There's so many fun and energetic and playful ways to explore personal style once you realize that I'm going to give you the prompt. You're going to take the prompt and you're going to go to your thrift store. You're going to go to your local shops. You're going to go to your local friends, online thrifting, whatever it may be. And you're going to have to do the homework and you're going to have to search for these items and find what resonates with you to create the tension that you want to create in the outfits that you like. For everyone, it's going to be a bit different. No one's, not everyone's going to wear like a tie with a button up with a sweatshirt over it. It's not, it's not for everyone. But for those of you who do like that, I mean, like this example, this is a Samuel Zellick top. I have a Buck Mason tie. This button down is Polo Ralph Lauren. Like that's some of the examples of like specific pieces. But like for you, find the things that resonate with you the most at the price points that resonate with you the most. And that's where you'll find the most fulfillment with generating and developing your personal style. Let's get a word in for today's sponsor, Squarespace. Are you interested in making your very own website for a brand or creative project? Squarespace offers a comprehensive amount of features to help you create the website that you've always wanted. If you want to sell your products direct to consumer, or if you want to showcase your body of work, Squarespace makes it easy to do that and more. Currently, I'm using my Squarespace website as a hub for all of my content and as a way to direct those interested to my podcast and social media. If you needed to sign to help nudge you into creating your first website, this is your sign. Visit squarespace.com slash drewjoiner for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And you might also be wondering, well, Drew, how do I incorporate or create tension within my outfits without having to spend extra money to buy new clothes? Because consumerism is rampant, as we all know. And the great thing about fashion is that the more creative that you are with the clothing that you already have in your wardrobe, the more fulfilling of a journey it is to develop your personal style. So I want you to think about or look at the clothes that you have in your closet currently. Basically take inventory. And the best first step you can take to create tension within your outfits is to attempt to pair three items in your closet that you've never paired together before. Let me show you how. I would start with a pair of shoes that you love. It could be a flip-flop, it could be a sneaker, it could be a loafer, it could be boat shoes, it could be whatever pair of shoes that have been kind of collecting dust in your closet or maybe you haven't seen the light of day for a little bit of time. Pull those shoes out. Now with the shoes that you have, find a pair of pants that go nicely with these shoes. Bonus points if these pants that you're pulling out of your closet have yet to be worn with these shoes because once we begin to subvert what we think is possible for our wardrobe inside of our own home that's when we can step outside and start to realize huh like these two things can go together this is something really unique so find a pair of pants that you've never worn or a pair of pants that look good with these shoes either one works and last find a base layer top it could be a t-shirt it could be a sweatshirt it could be a hoodie whatever it is depending on how warm or cold it is find a base layer top that matches the color scheme or the vibe or the energy that the shoes are giving. By matching the top with the shoes, this is called sandwiching. It's one of the easiest ways to make an outfit feel like it looks good together because you have elements that correlate and you've done so in an intentional way. Because the shoes and the top you have on match, visually your brain can't delineate that this is a bad outfit, and it frees you up creatively to continue to build to create tension within your outfit. Now, of course, there's a lot of ways you can go with this outfit. I can't tell you whether or not you need to put this jacket on or that top on or whatever it may be, but starting there is a great place because once you begin to play with the elements within your wardrobe, you'll quickly find out that it's not as difficult as what 
all the fancy jargon that I'm putting to this video might make it seem to be. It's really just about testing, experimenting, playing with the clothes that you have on. In general, all of the most touted outfits that you see in person or online by celebrities, by influencers, whatever it may be, they use some varying level of juxtaposition and tension within these outfits. Whether they are featured in runways or just used for campaign lookbooks, the best stylists in the world, people like Kara Welch or La Roach, the stylists who style Zendaya, Justin Bieber, Hunter Schaefer, etc., these stylists use tension, juxtaposition, layering, accessories, and, and all the tricks of the trade to help their clients look as good as possible. For them, for the industry that is entertainment, that is influence, that is culture, the better that these individuals look, the better they feel, the better they perform during red carpet interviews and the better they look the the more famous they become all because of this idea of starting with tension and juxtaposition and using clothing as a weapon as a as a tool to enhance self-esteem imagine if you utilize these same techniques to help improve or make you feel better about your style for weekend get-togethers with friends or all of the myriad of social settings that you are probably a part of whether you're in school whether you have a job whether you're going on a date whether you're whatever it may be clothing is a really interesting way to influence personal self-esteem if done correctly one of my favorite fashion quotes is fashion when utilized properly can be the extra bit of courage we need to face our fears it can be the reoccurring solace we feel throughout our day it can be the rediscovery of what it means to play or be creative for the inner child in us all. What other questions do you have about juxtaposition? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want me to make a video about how to layer properly or the extent of which how you can use layering to improve your style, let me know about that down in the comments. As always, I'm spreading peace love and positivity in 2024 so that means i'm spreading peace love and positivity to you and more wherever you are in the world have a wonderful rest of your day abianto peace yo what is good post vivid bop here's a fist bump for the one time we gotta get it two times i didn't get you guys last week bop thank you so much for staying to the end of the video if you noticed we got a wider lens it's a bit dark in here even though it's not that dark outside it's a bit dark in here but you can see a little bit of decor coming in a little bit of decor coming in. Let me know what you think about the lens. If you have recommendations for how I should set up the backdrop of my videos, I've been woefully behind on that. And I would love for the PVV to help me out. Hashtag PVV when you answer. PVV, how's your spring going so far? So far? So far? How's your spring going so far? Let me know down in the comments. Hashtag PVV. I gotta get to the next video. Peace.